you know, what does it mean to camp? You know, why are people buying campers? You know, I think it's for a lot of different reasons. But for me, I think about when I was a child and we were camping constantly. Uh, we would go on amazing adventures, Idaho, Colorado, Arizona. Uh, we're, all o we're all over the place, you know, all over the United States and going on amazing adventures. Looking back now of the memories that dad and, and our family have created, being around each other and the sharing of uh, just, I don't know, the camaraderie. We all worked so, so many hours that when we uh, did get time, we'd take a, a week or so and uh, uh, spend camping and traveling, yes. And uh, the kids pretty much raised for that, yeah. Camping is really our family's heritage we're always together, and it's it's about the memories that you make when you're out in the middle of nowhere, sitting around a campfire, laughing and cooking and telling stories and, and staying up into the late hours of the night or early hours of the morning and all those things. And, and really it was from from those wonderful family adventures that, that the Oliver Travel Trailer was born. Uh, several years ago, um, in uh, one of our businesses there, we. Um, go out on the jobs to install uh, some of our products and um, on the, in the mobile home industry there and the representatives would uh, have to get a hotel room and and then um, and then try and find the site at seven in the morning or whatever to meet the crews there and and it got to be quite a hassle and my brother had uh, bought a little camp trailer and um, he would park out on the sites uh, and when the crews got in to set the materials, uh, he'd already be there drinking his coffee in the morning. So after uh, a while, we bought several of them, and and um, and they basically just fell apart. We would drive 60, 80,000 miles a year, and the other campers just weren't holding up. I mean, the cupboards would fall off the walls, and or the straw that broke the camel's back is that we were out camping, and there's about a foot of snow on the ground. Pipes froze on the campers, and there was just a bunch of issues that we dealt with. And uh, my brother and I got to talking about it and figured that uh, we could build something that would, uh, that would last. And we said, you know what, we can do it better. We can do this better and this better and this better. And Dad's like, you know what, we can do this. And so Dad hired a couple people, uh, started them in our garage, and for about two years they worked on the first model. I mean, that really changing one thing after another after another. And Dad's a perfectionist. And so just making sure it's right we ended up uh, designing a, a two-shell uh, process where we had an inner liner and an outer liner, which uh, made it a lot more uh, solid and, and secure, you know, to be able to um, uh, get the strength we needed, uh, to, uh, durability to hold up. Yeah, I retired uh, a few years ago, and, and uh, kids pretty much took the businesses over, and and uh, they uh, are doing really good. Business is good. Like yeah. I said, the challenges of uh, getting our sales and our plant and everything, but just normal business. You know, each one of the, the boys, uh, you know, have a different role there. And, and um, Scott uh, focuses uh, as far as a lot on the marketing. And, and um, of course, uh, Danny um, uh, and, and little John, they, they work a lot on um, uh, the production and, and quality control and so forth throughout the plant and organization. So, you know, Emily um, pretty much uh, takes care of, keeps the boys in line and, and runs all the offices and the operations. She pretty much oversees everything. She's just an uh, exceptional young lady and, and uh, uh, really, uh, really proud to to uh, have her a part of it, you know. A lot of the employees have been with us a long time and some of them's worked for us for 30 years. Uh, they uh, really take uh, a lot of uh, pride, you know, in what they do and, and um, they're all part of it. get over the people how well um, everybody just visited just having 
just the time to visit with our customers and, and get to know them. They, uh, they're part of the family. They uh, really uh, make you feel good, you know, when they're, when they're happy and, and getting that enjoyment out of your efforts, you know. Basically, we decided that we wanted to get out and see the world for retirement. So we decided the best way to do that was to go full-timing. Uh, we have the Oliver, the truck, and two bicycles, and that's all we have right now. So we were uh, basically uh, tent campers uh, through the years, but we're getting close to retirement, and uh, the camping lifestyle has always been a, an attraction to us, you know. Well, we picked up the trailer and did some touring in Tennessee and went over to Asheville and spent some time there. A couple of three weeks ago, yeah. we took off from home and headed up to New England and up to Maine and ended up here. <laughs> the rally's so nice, it really is. It's nice to see what everybody's done with their campers and where they've traveled to and where they've stayed and you know, kind of the experiences that they've had with it. So it's it's been a lot of fun. We, we began to see the family that Oliver is producing here by uh, other Oliver owners mm -hmm. and the association and the relationship building and the networking is just like one big happy family and uh, the personal personalities of everybody that you get to meet is pretty rewarding so far in just two days it's pretty amazing but uh, you know so we look forward to many years of Oliver camping. And we take each week at a time and kind of look and see where the weather is, best weather is, so we can continue to bike and be outside, go to state parks, things like that, and hike. There's quality built into it. There's no, no place to leak, no wood for things to fall down and droop. Everything's molded fiberglass. So the quality's just here. It's light, it's airy, there's plenty of lighting in here, so you don't have a dark spot anywhere. Whenever I encounter a customer, um, you know, obviously I want to I want to ask them, "How is your experience? You know, do you enjoy it? Uh, and if so, uh, you know, tell me about it. You know, what do you love about our camper? And also, is there anything that you think when you're living in this thing for weeks at a time, man, I wish this were a little different. I wish this was over here. I wish this or or that. And I take that stuff to heart. I don't just let it go through one ear and out the other. I, I try to think about it. How can I?" raise the bar here how can i make it more convenient for my customers more comfortable uh, how can i make it safer you know more usable well and things are so well thought out they really are um you know the fact that the drawers are angled a little so that they close you know they close they don't come open when you're traveling um all the lighting options that are available the experiences that they share with us of just camping in the different places that they go um, of where we want to go and just helping working as a team uh, we talked a little bit about other customers sharing their great ideas and experiences of how they use a camper and what they would improve and and it's it's just making it better our camper as well as their experiences and of course i want those same experiences with my family and it's it's really fun but it's an easy way to travel it's amazing how this trailer changed our lives. Well, it opened up a whole different world that, that we probably wouldn't have been available to. Here we have spent eight, month, eight and a half months out of the last year in this trailer. We have been to Canada, Alaska, we've done the entire Southwest. You know, we've been, you know, we can leave and pack up and move and stay in national. The national parks that we've seen alone are unbelievable. It's just parts of the country that you don't think of when you, from the East Coast, it's all population, all city, all concrete. You get out West and it's open land and it's vast. It's amazing what it does to change your life, to open up what you can do, you know, where you can go that you wouldn't think otherwise of going. We can actually stay in places and explore and take time, take time, time out and don't have to, there's no schedule. Uh, at the end of the day to have a convenient comfortable place to lay your head it's warm it's cozy uh, and and all those things that is a lot about what the Oliver can offer you on your on your camping journeys you know because we can just close the house up get in the truck and go and there's campground somewhere or there's truck stops that you can do along the way and 
you know, all the little small towns that you can go off to and see. We've hit some beautiful little small towns and festivals just traveling. You know, little bitty t old timey towns with this, you know, sidewalks through the main street and people sitting out on the benches waving at you that you just don't see all the time. You know, if you're in the hustle and bustle, you miss it. And it's something I wish that we had done 30 years ago, to be perfectly honest. Well, it's, it's just wonderful being able to point to a place like this and say, hi, like Janine, across the way here. You know, we met her at, at a, actually at that same, same rally or the following year. You just meet people and as you travel, you'll hit a rally here or there and you run into the same people and it's just nice to see a familiar face or. We've done a lot of research with all the different brands out there and all the different years and uh, you know, we just kept getting closer and closer and refining our decision and seeing them, of course, and actually visiting on the website at Oliver, we got more and more educated and talking to some of the owners over the phone and things like that. The styling is very pleasing when you're looking at it from that standpoint, but more than that, it's the construction. The aluminum frame, the truck tires, the you know durability factor, the the idea that there's no wood to rot, so you're not going to be replacing flooring. Um, things just seem very easy to take care of. We love our Oliver. Wouldn't give it up for anything. It is home. We we refer to it as home all the time. Well, even just Terry and I traveling together, it's at our house. I know it's, it's over at your house. You know, we, we just love it. It's our, it's our home. We are very pleased with it and would recommend it to other people. I think it's just so well placed and thought out. And there's, there's, there's no like, um, oops, I didn't see that coming kind of design. They've got a place for everything and everything is in its place here. And we really enjoy that. They we're very proud of, our, of the product that we produce. Um, our employees love it. Uh, it's something when, when, when we show show our, our new hires or any of those people for the first time, they're like, wow, I can be a part of this. You know, I can be a part of building uh, this amazing product. And, and they love telling their families. You know? Absolutely. They're, um, uh, they do, they take it very personal. And uh, that's what makes it worthwhile and, and really makes you proud of them. They've got that interest, you know, to, to continue and to make it better. and and um, uh, end up with that accomplishment, you know. Dad's kind of been my mentor as well as my brother's mentors our whole lives and just instilling into us dedication, follow through, just making sure if you're going to do something, do it right. I wouldn't trade it for anything. I'm not going to sell it. I'm going to will it to my daughter and my grandsons and then they can play with it. We've just had a blast in it. We have had a, a blast. So, sunsets, sunrises, and everything in between. I mean, they keep uh, constantly uh, growing and improving and, and uh, expanding. And, and uh, so, you know, just as uh, long as they stay happy and, and uh, work together and, and enjoy it, uh, that's what it's all about. You know, we take pride in, in our family name being uh, on the side of these, these campers. Um, I want a, the safest, uh, most enjoyable camper uh, that we can, we can produce because at the end of the day, uh, you know, this is, uh, this is a legacy of, uh, that started with my dad and, and his twin brother. And, um, you know, we're going to see to it that it, it travels through uh, many Oliver's names, generation after generation, and, and also for the customers, uh, its legacy of quality and, and craftsmanship right here in the U.S. Thank you.